Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today's video will cover all of the document package changes in the latest patch release. With the new RMS update, document packages have been reworked for both contractor and government modes. Buttons are now integrated on some document package data grids for submission, acceptance, and completion. Government mode will have the accept and return buttons for contractor-generated packages and only the complete button for government-generated packages. And contractor mode will have the submit button for submitting document packages to the government. Exceptions to this update will include modules where the accept, reject, or return actions are dictated by the work performed in the module itself, rather than in the document package. We can best demonstrate these document package changes by showing the perspectives of both the contractor and government user. In contractor mode, we will navigate to the contractor insurance module. From here, we will select a contractor name. Notice the contractor document package section below. There is a submission button to the left of the add button that is not available to be selected at this time. By clicking the add button, we will be able to insert any documents into the document package manager and sign them as normal. Please also note that the submit for review button is located below as well as on the main contractor insurance screen. Each of these buttons will perform the same function of submitting to the government for review. However, the external submit button will submit all draft document packages in this module, where the internal submit button will only submit that specific document package. Since this module does not have an integrated document package, once this item has been submitted, the revision history will display below. In other words, the document package is separate from the RMS module itself and is not dependent on an action to be completed beforehand. For more information on revision history, please see the link in the description below. Once we have added all of the necessary components to this document package, we may click the Submit for Review button to transmit this to the government. In government mode, by entering into the contractor insurance module, we can see the accept and return for corrections buttons on the outside document package of the newly submitted document. Much like the contractor document package, we may utilize these buttons to either return or accept these files accordingly. For this demonstration, we will reject this package by selecting the return button. This will change the status of the package and return the document package to the contractor for any further edits. We will now demonstrate a government-generated document package only visible by the government by selecting the Contract Menu button at the top, then selecting the Labor Interviews module. Let's choose an employer or subcontractor from the list and add a document from our computer. We will change the speed through this process to save some time. By selecting the Complete Package button, RMS will automatically accept and ready the documents to be sent to PCF. For this demonstration, we will add another document package by selecting the Add button. This time, we will leave it blank and choose the Complete button. RMS will now remove any document packages that do not have any files added to them. This process also applies to the Submit button in Contractor mode. With the addition of these changes, RMS has implemented these buttons to the document package as an option to avoid the need to open the document package view.